Okay, so the uh, Starfinder Alien Archive Pawn Box has just arrived for Amazon. Um, also have the Core Rulebook one. Um, <clears throat> one of the first things I noticed about this, obviously this is based on the Alien Archive book that was released basically the Monster Manual for Starfinder recently. Uh, recently-ish. And um, one thing to notice about this one, uh, there's a lot more in it. Uh, it's got multiples of everything, like, like the other one, but it's got a lot more aliens in it, I guess. Um, and not only that, it actually comes with the bases. It comes with a significant amount of them as well. Unlike the core rulebook porn, um, porn uh, box. Because basically I've got no idea why they did that. It's stupid if you ask me, but either way, you can buy them separately. Although honestly, between that, I bought a pack of um, stands separately for these pawns. And if you don't know what pawns are, I'll explain in a second. Um, but uh, to be honest, with the amount that comes in here, after I found out, I'd already, I'd already gotten the other ones. Uh, I probably really didn't need it because you're only going to have so many units on a board, even if you're going to prepare other ones. Anyway, so let me it literally it's come like this. The plastic has been taken off. It's all. Else. Okay, off it comes. And so, yeah, let's see the front. Okay, cool. So it comes with. Um, oops, sorry comes with uh, some bases, got uh, medium, large, and I believe these are marked as massive. So, just to give you an idea of the oh, I've got one orange one. Give you an idea, it's a nice comparison. And boom. Now, look at this art, absolutely beautiful. It's the sort of quality I expect from Paizo. They generally release pretty damn good products. The odd time, like I know with their original flip mats that they released, there were the terrain and stuff. Uh, I know the gridding was all messed up and stuff, but the art's never a problem. But generally, Paizo products are top notch. Okay, so let's see. Amazing. And of course, these are all double sided. So if you haven't figured it out by now, it's a cord cut cardboard cutout. As I said, they're decent thickness, not super thin. I mean, they are thin, but not thin that they'll bend easily. Um, they're basically um, replacements, uh, alternative use for miniatures, especially seeing as Starfinder is such a new uh, tabletop RPG, um, because there aren't miniatures for Starfinder yet, and all the official ones haven't been released yet. Um, they are going to be, slowly, over time. I mean, like, for example, I've got, actually, I was about to, I'm going to do some together for, I've got some Warpath figurines here, but these guys will go well. You know, some kind of sort of space marine, maybe elite troop, and I've got Warhammer figures from years and years ago. But honestly, uh, they're, they're good substitutes too, and uh, the these um, these will definitely be a good, sub amazing substitute, if not better. To be honest, it's got all it's got elementals on these ones here. Sorry, I'll come out of it. Um, and sorry if this is crap. I'm just filming on my iPhone. I just haven't really seen any video covering any of these off. Um, I'll go through the other two I just picked up. Uh, Online, anyway. You know, so you've got some Yusoki's, uh Brilliant. And as I said, double-sided. All the same. Uh, now, they do have the names on them, on both sides. But I, they go into the uh, actual um, stand, I believe. So, don't worry about that. Uh, by the way, there are tons in this freaking thing. It's a thick freaking box. And to be honest, it was heavy. Again, same side. Sorry, guys, I'm just doing this in the front of my table. Oh, here we go. Here's those uh, robot sentries to know about. Um, beautiful day here tonight. Look at these, fantastic. Uh, multiples of many. Right, okay. Absolutely beautiful, aren't they? Now we've got some bigger ones. So these are technically large, but not massive. Ships be massive or some ridiculous things like dragons, I think. Beautiful. I will be spending longer with this, but uh, hey, I actually kind of want to mess play around them to figure out. Just get the it's more of a quick summary once again. All great quality. This is the first time I've actually opened the box, I took uh, the plastic off it, but this is the first time I've opened it. Amazing. I mean, they've got incredible design on these. Um, On these, on these creatures, these aliens, these monsters, this science fantasy group of creatures. 
you know, a combination of space stuff that's kind of you take inspiration from tons of space, tons of places, and, but then also literally Pathfinder and D&D. Round into the future. Brilliant. Some of these things are nasty, man. So far, been perfect. Let's have a look. Get these bottom ones out. Oh yeah, give me a second. Sorry, like I say, crappy camera. And this honestly, uh, <laughs> so apologies. Just I figured it was good to get something out there. I couldn't see much online. These big, these big mofos and a little bit, little guys too. I believe there are some ships in here too. Okay, officially I've forgotten the name of these things. Blood hunters, blood something. These are the scariest looking things in the game, legit. I'm pretty sure. Where is he? Is it gonna focus? Okay. Can you see those two dots in the center of him? That's a face. These things keep you alive inside them if they trap you. And if, let's say there's TP TPK. Wouldn't matter really because <laughs> well it would, but it'd be worse for that person because apparently they keep they keep their enemy inside them uh, for as long as possible, keeping them alive through horrific means just so they can absorb their immune systems and their blood and it almost slowly, basically by the time they spit them out. They're either nothing, like gone completely, or you know, just bones, etc. But uh, yeah, they keep you trapped in eternal just horrificness, disgusting. They actually really, it's like it's like the idea, like taking something from the thing, maybe you know, uh, John Carpenter's movie or a pretty shit remake, anyway, uh, as well. Look at these elementals, fantastic. These are some big fucking elementals. Now, I thought there were some ships. <gasps> My apologies, they're not ships with this, they're ships with the core. Um, porn rule book. Absolutely amazing. So this is obviously the Alien Archive. One well, that's what I said. So you can see the size of these. Huge massive ones epic for these big dudes. Um, and I guess you know, just look at this. Brilliant. If we have a look here, these are actually what it what it includes. Hopefully that's uh, okay for you guys, whoever's watching this, to see. In case they're wondering and they can't get a good picture of the back. If you want to purchase it, I'll try and go slowly so you can pause it if you need to. Just think of the stuff that I might need. Uh, I did do a few Starships, just some of them were like pretty bionic, bi bi or bionic, uh, sort of bio-organic um, material. Alrighty, okay. Anyways, um, just thought I'd show them off quickly. Uh, cool. Oh, Siri and the Witcher. Nice.